in this video we'll be looking at installing some skirting boards. Um, so what we have in here, we have the original skirting board in this room, but throughout the house, if you've been watching our other videos, we've been doing quite a lot of changes so we end up with patches of skirting board missing everywhere. So what we thought we'd do is remove all the skirt board from the dining room, uh, the existing house skirt board, use that to patch up the rest of the skirt board in the house. So all the other skirt boards in the house have now been reinstated with nice original skirt boards. That leaves one room in the dining room. Now there's part of the dining room wall has been a, a door moved about, there's French doors going in, the fireplace has been took back to brick. So there's quite a lot of changes anyway in here. So we thought this is probably the best room just to completely renew the skirt and board. Now the walls are going to get skimmed at some point, but I've decided to put the skirt and board on before they get skimmed, because that's how the rest of the house is anyway. The whole house is getting skimmed and all the skirt and boards are built. I'll do it the same, and then just feather it when I come to do it. Um, so the skirt and board I've got, I've got it from Wix, and I'll look at my phone so I can tell you the exact details of it. Um, so it's a Taurus natural pine skirt and board. Um, it's a 167 millimetres tall. Um, it's 90 millimetres thick, and it's in 4.2 metre length. Um, and I'll show you the exact skirt and board outside in a minute. Um, and it's about seven pound forty a metre, and I think I've got it in packs of two. But basically, it worked out at seven pound forty a metre. Um, I've got it in the 4.2 metre lens, you could get slightly shorter lens I think, I've got it delivered, but I've got it in M lens because these walls are about 3.678 metres long, I can't remember, but they're under 4 metres long anyway, the longest wall, so that means these big rooms can just be one length of skirt and board, um, so there'll be no more joins in it, not that it really matters, but there's, there's sort of two walls along, there's this one and there's the one there, the other wall is going to have a French door in it, so it's a little wall, these little alcoves, obviously, just a couple of a metre or so wide, a metre and a half, I think. So there's no, no massive issues there. So, but um, I think it'll look better having a full length here and on that wall if we can. Um, so what I'll do is, I'm just going to cut the skirt board from one end to the other, screw it on, and then going to do some internal joins, internals. I think actually all the cuts are internals. But I'll, I'll show you how I do the internal cuts. I'll be doing them a scribe. Uh, I've sort of mastered it now. Uh, did a bit of trial and error in one of the bedrooms to, to get it work, to find out how it worked best. And I've got that, so we'll talk about that a bit later on in the video. So, what I'll do now, I'll show you the skirt board so you can see the length before we start. Um, I'll then have to get Alicia in to help me measure the, the length of the wall, do some cuts. Um, because we've got stuff in here with stone and plasterboard and stuff in this room which is behind the camera. So what I'll need to do is sort of do this wall, this alcove, I'll then move all the stuff from the other side of the room over here to the other side. Now I'll put a few um I'll put a few pictures and stuff in here so you can see how it's gone. I'll also put a link to the um the skirt board we've got on Wix just so you can see exactly which one I'm talking about now. Right, so this is a skirt and board. Yeah, that's my chop saw. I got. I've got a, a review video on that. It's very good. Um, and there's the other length. It came nicely packaged up like that. It's just this paddle and bulb of the dog that's been sunny recently. Um, but the skirt and board itself, like I say, 4.2 meter length. It's got two designs on it. This is the one we're going for, and um, because this matches our existing skirt and board. Uh, not 100% but it's, you'd have to know it was different to realise it was different. Um, but if you flip it over, you have got the other design there, so you can use either design you want. Um, oh, it seems to be nice and straight, no massive damage in it or out. And then it's just going to get, um, once it's all installed and finished, it'll be getting there uh, painted. Um, it's a nice width. Um, very similar to what we already had, so I'm pleased with that. So, like I say, I'll go and measure up. Uh, I won't show you it cutting next, I'm sure you know, I'll cut a piece of wood. And I've got plenty of other videos that detail that. But I will I will sort of show you once I start doing the joints and scribing it in and stuff like that. There's the first length of skirt and board on. It's not screwed on or anything, it's literally just laying there. I've got a couple of pieces to go in here. 
I need a small piece in there. I'll do the small piece a little bit later on because I'll, I'll see what off cuts I've got left and I'll just use them to do that. So I'm not going to worry about that too much now. Let's see the skirting board itself. And it's just fine on its own level. It's literally just going on top of the skirting boards. So I've now got a piece to go in here and then there's no skirt board going on the brick that's going to be left exposed. So that end's going to be just a, a straight cut. What I'm going to do at this end is um, scribe it in. So I'm going to do a angled cut, 45 degrees, and then I'll cut inside that angle, which should give me the right profile just to slide in there. Um, be a bit easier when you see me doing it rather than me try to describe it. Um, so I'll go on, I'll measure this bit first. Once I know the width, I'll leave a little bit extra. Uh, I'll do the scribe cut and then I'll, I'll cut it down nicely after that. So let's go on there, see how wide this needs to be. I'm gonna put a piece of skirt and board now. Uh, I've turned the saw around just because I find it easier to look at it the way I've cut it, just um, so I don't make any mistakes. So to begin with, I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle from here. So I've got the saw set to 45 degree. the angle cut what I'm going to do now is a nice straight cut along there and then I'm probably going to use the coping saw just to cut around these angles I can see that pretty clearly but you can't you can sort of run the pencil along it just to highlight it a little bit pencil does make it stand out a little bit more. You can see I'm just working on the scribe cut here. I'm using a fine tooth precision saw just to cut the long edge. Then I use the coping saw to get around the moulded bit. Um, I'm sort of cutting back over. So I've got the 45 degree angle and I'm cutting back over sort of in towards the main length of skirting board. Rub down with a bit of sandpaper. Um, take your time and it should be a nice clean joint. Right, so you can see we've now got the nice straight cut cut round the profile in the 45 degree it's all sort of angled in over slightly I'm using a bit of sandpaper very tightly this is the side that you're not going to see sure that from there to there is the right width. So I'm going to measure the wall once more, mark that. If I need to cut a little bit off I will and show you a little close up. 
So there we are, it's, it's a nice clean joint. Get close up, just one screwing down. I'd say that I'm pleased with that. Millimeters. It's nice and even on the top there, it's nice and sort of flush it and see. It's a nice joint, it works well that. So the benefit of scribing it in like that, if these walls aren't exactly 90 degrees, because obviously you could just do 245s and 90, but if these walls, you get a little bit of leeway with that. Um, so that's why I do a nice scribe joint like that on there. Uh, and then by the time it's all nicely painted up, you'll never know it wasn't original. Obviously I need to screw the skirting board itself back a little bit uh, but once it's screwed back it'll be spot on that so i'm just going to do the same thing now for over here um what i'll probably do is leave the wood a little bit longer while i'm cutting the scribe just to make it easier cut it and then put it in now I'll, I'll go and do that i'll give you a little close-up of that just so you can see that one and then we'll get it screwed back and move on to the rest of the room right so i've just got hold of the camera now but um, so it might be a bit jerky but just so you can get a close-up of what's going on so you can see that back wall is done just need to screw them back that I'm going to do now before I move around that'll give you a few close-up shots so we've already seen that corner so we've got the, um, the butt joint just straight cut up to the brick got a nice scribe there this is then a full length of board and another nice scribe at this time uh, and again, looks well that, nice and flush, very, very little gaps by the time it's, I might put a little bit of filler in just to tidy it up, but basically, I think by the time it's painted it would look as good as anything anyway. Um, a bit of wood chip we've missed there actually, that's still will come off to do that at some point, but never mind. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is just put some screws in this just to hold it back, it's a little bit loose, so probably every four, 400 mil, 500 mil, just put a screw through the plug just to hold it um, nicely in place. To do that I'll just, I'll go directly through the wood, knock some long screws and plugs through so you can, you can see us do that. So there's all the skirt and board screwed on, in the end I've used these uh, four inch screws um, with a brown plug. I've just I've just drilled directly through the wood, uh, knocked the plug through, screwed it in. I kind of have power with some of them off, so a little bit of filler and um, about every metre to a metre and a half. So just basically where it where it needed it. Um, pretty pretty solid fixing anyway. Um, but there's, there's several screws along the long lens, and a couple on the short length, one there, and a couple on the short length. So. Um, that's that, so I'm going to leave this for now and move all the stuff I've got stored in here at that side of the room to this side of the room and have a look at the mechanism start and getting a little bit of skirt and board on over there I think next. Well, this is the other side of the room, um, the knockout there is where the French door going so um, there won't be skirt and board going there so what we've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a length of skirt and board along there and that'll be secured properly. I'm going to cut this skirt and board, but not secure it because once this wall gets all made good, once the French doors are in, I'll see where it all ends now, I'll cut it to fit then. So I'll cut it so I've got a bit too long and just leave it for now. And the same over here. So this bit will get secured in the corner, this bit will just get cut left. And I'll leave it long enough so when this is all made good, I can come round and do a couple of corners there. I might do a uh, a separate video just to show the uh, external bend so that'll probably be in a month or two's time the door's probably due in the next two or three weeks and once that's in I'll uh, I'll get it all made good and then I'll, I'll do a separate video of this one just showing how I do that particular bend um, with all these being internal scribes that we've done up to now so like I say basically length along there which I'm going to do first that bit there um, and then that's as well just about a bit more for now this next couple of sections is on so the section under the radiator is on um, permanently it's all screwed in properly this section um, to the right of where the window opener is I have put a screw in it but it's not really 
hundred percent because it's gonna to have to come off once the French door goes in and it'll be cut to the proper length so it'll be trimmed back slightly and then I'll, I'll make sure I get the joint nicely butted up then. Um, but I thought I'll put it on for now just so I know the wood's there and if it dries out or anything it's all drying out at the same rate and stuff like that. Um, well look, it is dried wood so it sh shouldn't really make a difference but anyway I thought I'd put it on just so I know where it is and it doesn't end up disappearing or anything. Um, so that's that section done and again the, the joint is nice, that, um, that butt joint sort of uh, does work well. Like I said earlier, maybe might want a little bit of filler just to, if you're a hundred percent, but I'm I'm really pleased with that. It does look a really good professional finish. Um, the skirting board itself's really good as well for the wick skirting board. What no uh, no qualms with it at all really. So the last little section is here. So again, where the sockets are, that'll be fixed permanently, um, and then I'll do a, another little bit. It just goes up to where the French door opening is and then like I say once the doors close then that'll be finished off so hopefully another half an hour or so is work and we should be somewhere near with this skirt and board. So this is where I'm going to leave this video you can see that all the skirt and boards now on just about So, like I said earlier, the reason that I've left them two bits there a little bit longer is because there's, there's a door frame going in there for a French door. So once the door frame goes in, I'll cut them uh, to the right length and I'll um, I'll do like a, an external angle on them and probably take it round to match up with the door frame. I'll, I'll sort of have a look at that once the door frame's in there now, it's all going to work out. But if I do end up putting some external angles on that, I'll, uh, I'll make sure I do like a little mini video about just cutting an external um, which I'll be doing with 245s basically if it's a 90 degree angle which hopefully it will be because I'll be um, finishing it off but we'll, we'll talk about that fully when it comes to it um, thanks for watching this video I've got loads of other little videos so as we're doing any little jobs in the house I uh, keep putting little videos on so please uh, have a look through our other videos please like and subscribe to the channel it all helps um, and also if you want to follow us on Instagram it's renovating underscore vein underscore cottage um, you can have a look on there and I put little mini updates as our stuff's going on because these videos do take quite a lot of time to edit even a, a little daft video like this will take me several hours to put together so um, it's a lot of effort so I try and get one on a month though as the house is coming on um, the next big one will hopefully be either the French doors or windows um, and I'll talk about that in more detail when I come to do them so watch out for that coming in the next month or two thanks for watching hopefully see you on the next one